TotalSeq reagents are designed to seamlessly integrate into the SightSeq workflow developed by Stokius et al. But they are also compatible with most droplet-based single-cell sequencing methods, including the 10x Genomics platform or DropSeq. They are also compatible with the similar workflow developed by Peterson et al. and termed ReapSeq. Prior to droplet separation and sequencing, cells are incubated with TotalSeq antibodies, an unbound antibody washed away. The cells then undergo the typical single-cell RNA-seq protocol via droplet separation, cell lysis, oligohybridization, and then reverse transcription to obtain cDNA, followed by cDNA amplification. After amplification, the total cDNA mix is separated into the antibody-derived tags, or ADTs, generated from the total seq conjugates and the mRNA-derived cDNA so that the sequencing libraries can be prepared independently. Preparing separate total seq ADT and mRNA sequencing libraries is critical for ensuring reliable and balanced proteomics and genomics data. With a small size of only 180 base pairs in length, the TotalSeq barcodes are easily size-separated from mRNA-derived cDNA. Once the two libraries are prepared, they can be pooled at the ratio needed to achieve an optimal read depth for each library. Thus, both proteomics and transcriptomics information can be obtained from a single sequencing run. Upon completion of next-generation sequencing, the identity and abundance of proteins is reflected by the number of reads corresponding to each TotalSeq barcode as part of a standard bioinformatics analysis pipeline. Get started with TotalSeq. Find out which antibody oligoconjugates are available by visiting biolegend.com/totalseq.